Can I get you anything? Um, I I'm still waiting for someone. Okay, I'll be right back. Did you see that picture mom sent? Oh, yeah, we look too cute in our little matching ballet outfits. Did you see that Grace Rubenstein is pregnant? Uh, oh, from high school? Yeah. Well, good for Grace Rubenstein. Siblings dating or friends, go. Oh, dating for sure. I don't know. Look at the noses. They're identical. I don't think that means anything. Do our noses look similar? Fair point. So are you team dating now? For now, but I don't know. I still think they might be siblings. And then, of course, friends remains a possibility. Mm. To divorce. So how does it feel now that it's official? Good, obviously, but it's still weird. How so? I mean, we were together for so long and then I just got you saying separated. Divorced just has such a different ring to it. Well, I think it's kind of nice that in your situation, it's a clean break, like you're just done with him. I don't know if I'd put it that way. It's just that in my situation, it's been so dragged out because we still talk and everything and all the disagreements over who gets what, the delaying with the paperwork, and you have your house. Well, if you hadn't left him, you would have your house. Isn't your paperwork due next week anyway? No, it's due in a couple of weeks. And what will you ladies be having? Okay, um, I'll have the, the build your own sandwich, um, but hummus instead of meat, cucumbers, extra salt, only a little provolone cheese, and on flatbread. All right, and would you like a side with that? Sure, I'll have the fries. All right, wonderful, and you? Um, I will have the same thing, uh, uh, with a side salad. Of course. All right, I'll be right back with that. Thank you. <laughs> what? Nothing. Uh, wait, why were you late? Your text had to come at noon. No, look at it again. It said 11. I'm here now. Where were you though? I was at the house. You mean David's house? I used to live there. You've been spending a lot more time there than at your apartment. You're getting through that awfully fast, aren't you? How is David? Great. Seems good. Um, he's done some redecorating with the house, though. It's really ugly now and it's killing you, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So bad. The whole house is a man cave. You die. Oh, he knew not to touch my breakfast nook, though. What's that face for? Why do you think he would keep it, Audrey? He thought it was stupid. Wait, he said that? No, he didn't. I just knew. He he did say it would make a nice nursery one day, though. Do you think it means something that he kept it? I don't know, maybe. It would just be a real pain to get rid of the breakfast nook. It doesn't seem like he's tried. It's just interesting that he's preserving your things. It's pretty nice, don't you think? Well, I'm sure he just hasn't gotten around to it yet. He always takes forever with these things, and um, I won't go over as much once this is all done. As much? Well, not everyone has the ability to just cut someone off over one thing now. Cheating sure is a pretty big one thing. Andrew does regret it, though. He cheated on me. Okay, it's not like he forgot my birthday. How does that change what he did? It's just that Andrew made you so happy, and I haven't seen you that happy since. Yeah, well, then he cheated on me, and that didn't make me happy. 
No, I know, I know. All I'm saying is that I want to see you be that happy again. I don't care how that happens. Okay. Any possible situations happening? No. There's really nothing happening with you? There's that one guy who moved in a couple of houses down. He's been kind of flirty, but I think maybe it's just his personality. Wait, the guy with the hair? Yeah. Oh, he's nice. Doesn't he have a whole bunch of kids, though? He has two. Still. What's wrong with that? I think it might be fun. Kids are really cute, too. And um, plus the mom's not in the picture anymore, so I, I wouldn't have to deal with that. I don't know. I just think that would be a lot. Yeah, well, clearly you think that. Here's one hummus, cucumber, provolone sandwich with a side of fries, and another hummus, cucumber, provolone sandwich with a side salad. Thank you. Looks great. Thank you. Enjoy. Funny how you copied me again. No, I got a side salad. I got fries. What do you mean I copied you again? Mm. You know, taking ballet, ordering a sandwich, other things. You cannot be serious about the ballet thing. What? We both started when we were toddlers. If you have a problem with that, take it up with mom. You know what I mean. What did it matter? You're always better at it anyway. <laughs> and I was nice about it for you. Nice? You rubbed my face in it when you got point shoes. <laughs> I was 13 now. I'm I'm just not going to let you change the narrative and pretend that you were nice about it. Okay, but I just had all of these emotions and it was just annoying that I couldn't show it because I had to be careful not to make you upset. It's the same thing with the divorce. And what emotions are you concealing exactly? You were ne you are never sensitive to what I'm going through. I'm just saying there's been a bit of a pattern. That's all. Okay. Um, well, since you started the trend, apparently, why isn't your divorce finalized? How are we doing over here? You know, my sister here, she ordered a side salad, but she really wanted some of those fries. Can you bring her some? Sure, I'll be right back with some of those. Thank you so, so much. Why are you bringing him into this? Because you ordered a spite salad. Whatever. I'm not done talking about the whole you and David situation. Here we go. I just don't want you to do something that you're going to regret when you clearly still care about each other. Okay? You are very lucky to have that. It doesn't matter anyway. The paperwork is due tomorrow and then it will be done. Audrey, you said it was um, due in a couple of weeks. Well, it's not. Okay? <laughs> I lied. Why are you doing this? I know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? I don't have a loving husband. Okay? My divorce was finalized. Yours is not. <laughs> but have you and David even really talked about this? Yes, we actually have talked about getting divorced. Thank you. I meant the other thing. There is no other thing. Audrey, do not act like I don't know you. Did the not having kids thing just not come up before? I don't not want to have kids. That's not why we're getting divorced. Mom thinks that you're scared, but you'll get over it. When did she say that? Oh, she's been saying it for years. You both know Mom doesn't know shit. Well, David seems to think that too. <laughs> Since when are you and David friends? I care about you. I ask about these things. He doesn't know what he's talking about either. I just don't want you to leave him because you're scared, okay? You would make a great mom. What would you know about having kids? You don't have any. Oh, my God. <sighs> no, I, I completely forgot. I <laughs> <laughs> Because how could you remember? When you have all these emotions that you're supposedly concealing. That no, you have that's to not deal fair. With. What exactly is it fair about it? You know what? You don't deserve David. Here you are about to throw everything that you have away because you're scared of a fucking baby. I didn't have the luxury of that choice. Now stop. Oh, you knew not to go there, but you did. Here are the fries you ordered. Thanks. What are you getting mom for her birthday? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I 
I told you they were siblings. I was right. Thanks, Tony. I just don't believe that you're done with David yet. Well, I do. He loves you, though. I'm pretty sure that you still love him. I'm sorry about Andrew. Just think about it. Okay. David? <laughs>